This conference okay. will now be recorded. Okay, great. Uh, so I know that how I only one more about idea about VLSI. Anyone else? Okay, so then let's start with like a total fresher kind of category. So is that we'll just take a first view about VLSI and after that we'll discuss about what is the flow and all. Okay, uh, just give me a second. Yeah, uh, so now in the engineering we have studied about multiple IC related categories, right? Yeah. What is an IC? Uh, guys, could everyone mute yourself first? And if anyone wants to answer, then you can unmute. Okay. Uh, so now the first answer I got is like IC is an integrated circuit. What is an integrated circuit? What is an integrated circuit? Yeah, right. So for a particular device when we want to build it was you it is using multiple n number of transistors which will be uh, rahul do you want to answer to connect the million of transistor is connected millions of millions transistor is connected yeah right so in the integrated and... okay go ahead not only the transistor is connected even capacitor inductors diodes also connected in the integrated okay. circuit okay many devices many devices are connected in the integrated circuit okay so let's say like when we are talking about an ic in a smaller area a bigger building block is inserted can i state that that when i'm telling about a bigger block that means like many number of uh, transistors ram rom or let's say like uh, devices like uh, inductors capacitors resistance everything will be integrated into one single smaller area can i state that yes and i see small area where n number of different components are inserted so why we are going for ICs? Because we are using some devices which we want to do in a daily basis. When we take it in an original method, what happens to carry that particular device is like a huge complex used task. So to simplify that particular task, what has been done? The smaller area related transistors has been built up that is ICs has been formed. So similarly in that particular building of ICs itself, we are having different categories SSI, MSI, VLSI, ULVSI. So like that we are having different categories of building IC itself, right? According to the number of transistors which is going to be built in that particular area Based on that we have provided that particular terminologies SSI MSI SSI means small scale uh, MSI means medium and Hello. LSI means large scale Hello Yeah uh, How many transistor is connected in VLSI? Well, how many range? How many range my transistor connect right there VLSI in the uh, did I complete my explanation Rahul? Okay, okay. I will wait Perfect so 
now in when we are talking about that particular uh, one more thing when i say it's like any questions or when i give a pause then you can ask me questions okay till that time please be patient because i might miss the flow and uh, you might be in a trouble where i won't take few concepts so i request that to be patient fit till few time All right so now coming to that particular explanation where we are telling us like isis is a component is a integrated components where we are having is like based on the range of transistors or devices present in that particular uh, ICs, we will be having that particular different categories. So, in that ICs, we will be having is SSI, where small scale integration, So when we are telling about small scale integration, if that particular transistor is holding 10 to 100, okay, 10 to 100 transistors per chip, okay, we will be terming it as SSI. Next is MSI. MSI means 100 to 1000 transistors. If I go wrong, you can correct me also. There is no wrong in that because sometimes human errors can occur. Okay. And when we are talking about large scale integration, it is about 1000 to 10,000. So. so, and when we are talking about VLSI, it will be stating about 10,000 to 1 lakh. Okay, so like that, slowly that particular level of integration of transistors also getting increased. It's not stopped at this particular point itself. That particular transistor level which is getting integrated in that particular chip is getting increased as well. Okay, the advancements. So when you study in your engineering also, you will be studying as like the highest extent is like VLSI. Okay, very large scale integration, which is one of a topic also, I guess. Now, coming to this particular VLSI, okay, VLSI, we'll start about in detail so till here any questions is there any example for small scale and medium something like that like which we are using on daily basis uh see daily basis presently we are not using ssi msi and all we have just directly jumped into VLSI itself. Okay, sir. So, just like daily basis, you can tell us like uh, for 10 to 1 to 100 or 10, sorry, it's 10 to 100. Okay, 10 to 100 transistors, it's like logic gates, is your uh, SSI. Mm -hmm. 
and MSI is like your counters registers will be coming into the process and uh, LSI is your uh, 16 to 32 bit processors is there right processors yes, that sir. will be your LSI okay sir And VLSA is a global of all where you will be having a different combinations. Okay, any other questions? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Sir, I was going to ask you, you said that you have to 10,000 to uh, 1 lakh transistor is connected in VLSI circuit, correct? Correct. So, sir, in such small area, how many transistors are connected in such small area? How is it possible? Based on the technology node, the, when you tell about a transistor, right, you will be telling us like drain to source width. So, when you go beyond a particular technology, the spacing between that particular okay 7 nm okay like the present technology you will be hearing is like 3 nm 1 nm like that that particular technology node is dependent on that particular when you go from technology to technology the distance between them gets reduced and the area occupied by that particular transistor is also very minute so with that particular reason only you can be able to place that many transistors. Okay, so you are buying phones, right? For example, you're buying a phone. So while buying that particular phone, yes. you will be yes. seeing like the technology node 3 nm processor and uh, some clock hertz, right? That is the specification under which technology that particular processor was built. Okay, that 3 nm technology or 5 nm technology is indirectly telling about your drain to source width of your transistor. Clear? Yes, yes, clear. Okay. All right. So now shall we get into the concepts of vlsa anyone wants to ask any other questions sir another one is also there uvlsa why right. that is not using nowadays ultra ulsa ultra yes. large scale integration we are using that so present and also there is also one more term gsi a global uh, okay. sorry greater uh, large scale integration so that means okay. the number of transistors here it's like up to one lakh limited so when you go beyond that that is like ulsi glsi that will be like one lakh to one million okay or one okay. million to so on so like that the increase in the technology will be happening depending on nine nine nanometer seven nanometer two nanometer correct based on the area of that particular chip occupancy this particular okay. uh, dependency is there. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Um, don't we use uh, nowadays a VLSA, ELSA? Because uh, already you told me um, one lakh million to extra, extra, extra. Don't we use? We use that. Okay. See here, I'm just giving us like an example. Oh, sorry, I written it wrong. This is an 8 bit, and the below one is like 16 bit to 32 bit. Okay. Okay. Now okay, okay. here I'm trying. To, now when we go to let's say like a sensors or let's say like your VRs are there, right? 
in that small area you are going to be interest introducing more number of transistors so this is only a processor circuit so with this particular processors you can build a bigger circuit okay in that time i require is like more uh, transistors so at that time the terminology get changed to either okay. ulsa or gsa like that thank you sir right it's all about the channel width and uh, also the number of transistors getting introduced uh, where the channel width is going to be telling about the uh, technology node and the number of cells which are going to be inserted is going to be telling about which category of ic it's getting built in ssi or msi lsi vlsi like that okay so it's all the reference area of a particular cell is based on that particular technology node okay according to the technology node the area of each and every circuit gets changed okay there is no reference point for that technology node area that is what references right now moving to the next point that is vlsi category let's say like detail how that particular ic is getting built from a basic idea to a physical implementation how that is going to be built okay that is what we are going to be observing it now again coming to this terms have you heard about asic flow and soc that is like uh, system on chip yeah soc on chip and asic application specific integrated circuit okay application specific integrated circuit so this two flows are same asic flow or soc the flow is same but the usage of that particular chip is different okay soc is also one chip and asic also can be one chip okay the usage is different yeah right sir i doubt sir go ahead sir what is meant by soc sir soc yeah i'll come to that okay, okay uh, it's just like i'm giving first terms and after that i'll give an explanation on that okay okay sir all right so first we'll go with respect to the asic okay because asic is dependent uh, soc is dependent on multiple asics so first i'll go with an asic so asic when we are telling about asic it's like application specific when we are telling about uh, it has to do only the particular process okay then asic flow is used okay it is asic flow is used for developing a chip which is going to be working for a particular process it doesn't have any kind of advancements okay that is the only one drawback of asic when you take about this soc okay we know that asic right which is let's say like you have built one processor or let's say you have built one ram or let's say you have built one security processor or you have you want to build the final goal is like you want to build a modem for building that particular modem or let's say like for example a basic circuit where sorry basic usage phone i want to build what you what all requirements i have to build a phone for a phone or let's say like, sorry we need hardware component sir uh, uh, 
first is like I require receiver, always transmitter. Uh, receiver, transmitter, processor, processor, processor. processor. keypad. Display LCD, LCD display or LED, and LCD or LED, OLED, like that. Any display next speaker controller, right? So, most of us want is first main thing is like camera receiver, transmitter, keypad, display, speaker, camera and uh, battery battery. Uh, battery is like secondary it's not coming in that it's an external circuit which you are connecting it so for that particular battery you will be having an uh, converters ac to dc for battery charging and dc to the complete circuit charging uh, complete circuit working you will be having distribution suppliers like that you will be having different categories okay now in a particular phone when we consider we will be have what we want is a compulsory requirement this is what i will tell my compulsory requirement now combining of all this is your soc system on chip means each one receiver you as you said receiver or transmitter module okay that will be done by a particular specific people Okay, that will be developed that particular module converting from RTL code to the physical implementation is done by a specific team. It's an application specific. So again, this receiver or transmitter module can be used in a modem also. Presently, I have developed in my phone the same representation or let's say like with a little bit of advancement can I use it in the modem? Correct. Similarly, for any Bluetooth connected devices, you are going to be using this receiver transmitter modules, right? Application specific. Similarly, processor. Yes, yes. What it is going to do? The data rate. How much? Oh, then? Mathematical. Correct processing of your data from uh, the conversions internal conversions as that you can be able to get that particular information faster okay processor again that is also as application specific so with all this particular application specific i am going to build a bigger chip okay that is called as system on chip clear advancements application specific to advancements you will call it as system sorry uh, system on chip clear sir give examples of soc sir soc for example your modem your phone okay it's getting every time advancement is getting happened internally also right so you're getting is like uh, with one set but later on os is getting updated due to that particular os getting updated the internal working of that particular uh, devices is getting updated as well right so all else take your system itself okay your laptop that also is getting advanced every time with respect to the change in that particular internal softwares the working of that particular device is also get changed okay sir one minute sir hmm. in phone means uh, will be there chip sir yes okay so that is soc sir correct the main controlling you require right for soc also controller okay any other questions no sir okay so 
now going with a little bit of advancement okay that is we'll just understand now about the asic flow first and from that particular asic flow we will start discuss about a little bit basics of pd as well uh, that is like the current enrollment of your uh, device uh, enrollment of your subject will start discussing on that as well okay now asic flow now when we are telling about this asic flow that is like application specific integrated circuit that particular full detail we are going to be discussing on that okay so in this particular asic flow by default what we are going to do is okay or let's select the complete team what it is going to do is you're converting of your rtl code that is like your very log code to the finalized chip which you are getting in hand okay that is called as asic flow now in that particular asic flow to write that particular rtl code so how many of you know what is an rtl code or a very log code in engineering you have to learn that coding. correct behavioral level coding right behavioral data flow descriptions right. different, different so, descriptions are there. Hmm, correct vhdl very log like that you will be having multiple so presently i'm not very about that just an idea about that is enough for me so if you want to write any code for that the first requirement is an idea okay so you are getting a customer so he will ask you uh, or let's say like how many you, you would have done that during your project uh, did project uh, in engineering projects uh, you would have gone to a particular uh, institute or let's say like a what do they say a project sellers okay you would have visited them and you will suggest them an idea okay you are going with your idea to them and what they will try to do with respect to your idea they will convert that particular initially if any coding is required that idea will be converted to a coding format okay that particular coded format idea and next is converting to coding and next that particular coding has to be verified okay with whether that particular coding whatever i have written okay is it following the particular idea or not first requirement and next requirement is whether this particular coded format can be implemented or not that is like either test benches okay or internal syntax checks you will try to perform okay coding checks i'll give the correct terminologies also coding checks and next is like this coding checks once it is performed what is the next step you have to implement it right either if you are using an embedded tool you will load it into that particular processor and you will try to verify that whether it is working or not if it is not working you will try to rerun uh, modify it and rerun it so it goes an iterative basis similarly here also okay after the coding checks i'll make the proper terms now rtl code rtl coding next is like formal verification or functional verification any terms it's termed as fv or front end verification also you can tell multiple terminologies okay just make it functional verification itself okay functional verification and after that particular functional verification in our particular asic flow okay with the rtl code which is a behavioral code 
or a base level language has to be converted to a technology coded format okay which we will call as a gate level okay synthesis stage that is called as synthesis in between there are from fv to synthesis there is some intermediate stages that i will discuss okay synthesis which will be converting rtl to gate level netlist okay converting rtl code to gate level netlist so now when we are writing or let's say like during this particular rtl coding functional verification i'm able to do that okay synthesis rtl to gate level netlist also i'm able to do okay which is a physical which can be physically implemented gate level netlist is the netlist which is used for physical implementation okay next comes your pd so in this particular pd or it's termed as physical design okay till this particular pre of pd you will be having everything is in a logical terms okay everything will be in the term of logical terms only and comes next is the pd where you will be converting your logical files into a physical format okay here you will be processing or converting logical to physical so now let me ask few questions when you are in uh, performing a physical information after the physical implementation also do you want to check the functionality correct yes so the functionality check after this particular pd because pin to pin check will be very difficult because you will be having millions of gates okay or millions of cells getting used inside your design or lakhs of cells getting used inside your design it will be difficult to analyze pin to pin checks okay functionality at that particular time there is also a uh, team called as dft okay there is also a team called as dft design, design for disability correct so what they will try to do is they are majorly depending on this particular checks okay functional related okay all that particular checks they are only going to do that what we are going to do is like converting of this logical to physical when you do as a pd engineer this is your major role okay the dft team what it will what they will try to do is they will insert some scan chains okay they will be inserting some scan chains what that particular scan chains is going to do is group up some flop to flop okay back to back flop connections will be present and based on that they will try to process it okay the checkings is done based on that particular scan chains only dft with that rtl code when they are writing that particular rtl code itself they will try to introduce this particular scan chains also that means in the rtl code itself it has to be inserted okay the scan chain information has to be present in that particular rtl code and later on during this particular synthesis stage that also gets converted any questions uh, rahul do you want to ask any question no no sir please continue 
uh, because you have unmuted there is some background music going on so that's why i asked okay, okay sir okay 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 next dft is like scan chains so which will be helping us or let's say like helping them to uh, check that particular functionality in a little bit easier processing okay by using atpg jtag okay like that they will be having their own algorithms by using that they will be able to process it if any issue is found they can be able to modify that particular netlist and we have to redo this particular complete process okay a small error is found we have to redo the complete process that is from synthesis to pd sign off everything needs to be redone okay dft synthesis and pd now coming to the next similarly first understand this criteria your rtl code you have written it okay you have converted that particular rtl code during that particular conversion there is a pause as the tool is doing it there is a chance of having a misconnections or missing of connections or changing the connections the tool can do it right due to some internal logics can it be done yes sir right so Pos possibility okay we we can't tell because it as it doesn't have any ai in built there is a chances of us to get fail later now to perform that okay let's select from rtl code to synthesis netlist to map them whether those are having of correct connections or not okay whether those are correct or not there is a team called as lec logical equivalence check lec is logical equivalence equivalence check okay what they are responsible okay logical equivalence check what they are going to do is it is also team used for performing data to data checks okay data to data checks so what they are what that particular tool is going to do okay i'll make it like a new term sorry okay logical equivalence check i'll repeat that so when we are telling about logical equivalence check when we are converting a code okay when we are converting a code from rtl to synthesis or synthesis to the physical implemented there is a possibility that there can be a connections getting missed okay first one there can be a possibility of connections getting missed or changing the connections okay the internal connections can be interchanged there is a possibility because the tool is doing it okay now we have to verify that particular also that means netlist to netlist checks we need to perform rtl to synthesis and synthesized netlist to the pd after completing of this particular physical implemented that particular netlist we need to check okay that is comparing sorry comparing rtl to synthesized hello sir yeah dft full form they yeah, are designed for testability okay so what is the purpose of uh, physical design converting of your logical information to physical information logical information to physical yeah physical 
how it is possible logical information to convert uh, physical information so i'll come to that point i haven't come to that i'll explain that okay <coughs> okay i will wait <coughs> Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, can we celebrate on uh, DFT? Uh, why it is necessary? Uh, so only no. uh, the functional verification would be uh, won't be enough to do uh, synthesis. Why it is necessary? DFT? Okay. So functional. Okay. I'll just complete LEC and after that I'll go back to that particular DFT and FV in little bit detail. Okay. Because okay. we are discussing about that, we'll complete that. Okay. LEC. Comparing of your RTL to synthesized netlist and comparing of your synthesized netlist to PD sign off netlist. Okay, the reason is what comparison is going to do is it compares data to data checks. Okay, this particular stage is going to be comparing about your data to data. That means like the RTL code to synthesized, if there are any missed connections or interchanged of connections the tool will find it and we have to fix it okay whether it is a tool issue or during any optimization is there any issue we have to fix it okay there should not be any interconnections getting changed if it gets changed your functionality will be disturbed the final goal which you want is getting disturbed now LEC is clear. If it's clear, I'll go to the next step. So this all on the back end, right? Uh, so from your synthesis. It, your back end will be starting. Okay. okay. So as you have brought up that point, I'll make it. So your ASIC flow is having this off is to this class is demo class, no? Yeah, demo class only. So ye class kab tak chalegi demo? Ah, uh, jab tak a fast me katham ho jayega, tab tak. So let's say like a max of. Uh, one hour more. Okay. So now let's as we were discussing about that particular ASIC flow, there are two types, there are two different flows, front end and back end. Okay, front end means it's purely based on your logical entity. Okay, it's purely based on your logical entity when you are talking about backend where you will be working based on the technology in this case independent of technology in the backend flow it is dependent on your technology this is the difference okay now let's get in depth of your dft now excuse me sir yeah go ahead rtl transfer Registered transistor logic. Registered transistor logic. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, now DFT. Okay, first question again. I'm asking. LAC is clear for everyone. Yes. Yes. Sir. Perfect. Yeah. Now there is a confusion in DFT. Okay in or let's say like in depth the concept required so let's discuss about that dft or before going into dft i'll just talk about functional verification and after that i'll come to what is dft now in this particular functional verification what we are going to check is first one your is there any syntax errors when we are when i'm telling about coding checks i'm mentioning about is like any syntax errors first one i need to check 
the next verification I need to perform is okay uh, the test bench okay whether that particular uh, test bench codings we will try to do right based on that particular test bench coding the RTL code is passing or not that means the idea is getting followed or not that is what I will try to perform here okay by using test benches I'll try to verify whether that particular code is passing or failing that is my required output is getting out or not now coming to the next term design okay functional verification is clear Yes. yes sir. All right. Yes. Next is DFT. Okay. When you physically implement, okay, when you do a physical implementation, you need to cross check about the functionality as well. Yes, sir. So for cross checking of that particular functionality, as it, here, let's say functional verification, it's a logical code. I can pass a parallel logical code and I can be able to test it. But when it comes to a physically implemented by passing a logical information, will I be able to fix it? Yes, will I be able to get an idea? Uh, actually, I have a one doubt, sir. Go ahead. Uh, uh, when you have to implement a circuit, simply we have to implement a inverter. Inverter. Okay. Uh, for that inverter, we have to write a code. Yes. Uh, that is the logical implementation. First thing is the logical implementation to get that to physical design. Correct. To, to get the physical design, that means we have to first to write the Verilog code. And Correct. for that uh, inverter, we have to implement the test bench code. Verification, yes. Uh, uh, and then we have to get that uh, one to zero to one or one to zero. Then we have to get that to physical physical design of the inverter. Physical design of the inverter, like a uh, we, we have to get that uh, like a simple block, or we have to design that uh, as like a symbol of that inverter. Is it correct, sir? Yes. Symbols oh. are different. When you are telling about PD, those will be different. Symbol okay. is like just telling like how that particular inverter should look in a schematic view. Look like ah uh, yes yes it is look like an uh, it it has the identification it is identification Correct. it is inverter it is, uh, okay thank yeah. you that is symbol when you are talking symbol. about PD that is like area of that particular inverter which is going to be occupied and the internal connections how it or let's say like if there are uh, let's say like instead of telling an inverter I'll just tell like an uh, counter or register okay. inside that particular counter or register you will be having n number of gates NAND gates yes. and some inverters right so yes, to sir. implement that uh, counter how much area I require first term and second okay. is uh, where should that particular internal cells should be placed that should be your PD and the routing that is your PD routing and placement okay okay because yes. what happens is like in this particular when you're talking about VLSA itself or let's say like any IC there are three major terms area timing power oh. based on this particular requirement only the area of that particular uh, chip will be decided. Okay, area, frequency, the clocking frequency we are telling, right? It should be clocked at this much frequency. So that frequency is very important. Based on that only, the internal cell placement also gets decided. So that will be an in-depth concept of PD. So when you go to the advanced classes, you will be understanding that. Okay. Sir, and what about flip flops and latches? Any, those are let's say like uh, first answer is like this counter, flip flop, latches, gates. All these are basic circuits, or let's say like gen globally used circuits. For that, you will be having some 
files provided input files through that you will get that information and you will be using it in a bigger circuit okay right so any questions no sorry will you continue sir yeah perfect so next is dft so when we are telling about dft or let's say like uh, RT, uh, any coding itself okay so first one we will be having n number of registers right in a circuit we are not going to be building a smaller circuit let's consider like we are having is like uh, 10000 of registers basic level so when we are telling of 10000 registers will i be able and my circuit is failing okay and my circuit is failing how do i find at which particular location my circuit is failing the registers are connected and my the let's say like my output of that a particular register should be zero but i am receiving one should i go back trace exactly where that particular output got changed correct yes. as there are 10000 registers doing one by one backtrace will be an hectic process it takes so much amount of time to identify that particular place whether wrong or not correct so now instead of doing that particular one by one backtrace let's say if i group them 100 100 100 or let's say like thousand 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 like that i'm grouping it okay according to the traceability of the tool and according to the traceability of my i am grouping that particular cells okay now when i group that exactly at uh, after a particular let's say thousand cells after thousand cells the functionality is correct and remaining thousand cells functionality is correct now my workload is also getting reduced as well as my time is also getting reduced correct yes, sir. yes sir. so that particular back to back registers which you are grouping is called as scan chain that only registers back to back will be connected okay that 100 back to back registers is called a scan chain and that scan chains is developed by this dft team okay and they will be having flows called as atpg automatic pattern generation and jtag uh, i don't remember much on this okay jtag like that they will be having different uh, kinds of terminologies clear atpg jtag okay like that they will be having their own flows with that particular own flows okay they will be introducing that particular scan chains and with respect to that scan chain we will be able to find out that particular failure and we will be modifying it clear so far yes sir right hope so the elaboration is clear now do you want some more elaboration uh, the scan change means you have to back to back connection of the registers correct um uh, that that means uh, i have a doubt sir in that uh, back to back connection back to back means uh, one of the output is given to the input of the another register is is it correct correct okay that will be like uh, see when you go to industry uh, let's say like advanced level right I'll just give you two terms. Okay. There is like functional flow and a scannable flow. 
okay in that particular functional flow what they will try to do is real data gets passed okay where you will be having some register circuit and register like that particular combinations it will be having and when we are telling about scannable flow the where your scan chains are connected that is your scannable flow these are two different you cannot activate both at the same time okay scannable flow dft will be taking care of it functional flow we have to take care of it okay uh, scannable flow also we have to take care but if there are any issues they will help you okay dft team has to help you on that now in this particular scannable flow when you talk about a register right actually i'm taking a little bit of advanced but it's okay now when you are talking about scannable flow in a register there will be like scan pins the output of a register will be connected to the input of a scan pin okay that is called as a scannable flow there will be no internal uh, cells and all that scan chain contains clear yes sir all right any other questions uh, hi yeah uh, uh, we have uh, introducing additional uh, resistors in this scan chain uh, so Correct. what would be the area uh, additional area would be occupied in a particular chip uh, for this dft additional area occupied by only the dft cells or occupied by the resistors of dft uh, resistors of dft okay let's say the next question uh, in which particular technology node you are working uh, see now i'll give you answers for that the area okay. occupied by this particular cells right or let's say like how many scan chains inserted first it is dependent on how many scan chains inserted second answer is the for that particular scan chains let's say uh, start and end lock up latches will be insert, introduced okay two lock up latches and mm -hmm. the each lock up latch area gets uh, dependent on the technology node which you are working okay okay so it's not a straight away answer it's based on your technology node and number of cells the scan flow uh, scan registers has been introduced your functional registers okay i'll just give you a diagrammatic if my diagram is bad don't scold me Ah, one second. Okay, this is a very basic I have written. So when we are talking about functional, right? This data pin related checks will be performing. Okay, when you are talking about functional, this data related will be checking. And next, when we are talking about scan chain, right? this si will will be checking si paths sc si like that they will be having multiple terminologies this checks will be done now this for this particular one this is like a ridge to ridge right so similarly when you're talking about uh, a latch uh, sorry scan chain right there will be a particular lockup latch start point and this lockup latch gets activated from a mux i'm not a very good drawing okay this is there will be a mux this mux will decide whether to perform a scan chain check or to perform a functional check okay we will call it like a case analysis 
so from this particular scan dependent will be present okay clear yes now clear so far right now coming to the next part shall i get uh, into the pd prospective Yes, sir. So now let's complete this flow. After that, we'll talk about that PD. So PD sign off post silicon validation. And chip. Um, here it will be chip post silicon validation and to the customer okay this is your complete asset flow Okay, now this I'm not going to be touching right now because these are advanced topics. Okay, oh, let's see PD where we will start about physical design. Yeah, any questions? Okay. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. So Are you provide uh, this, uh, this video uh, recording the uh, video after this session? Yes, if you request to the admin, he might provide you that particular video. Okay. Okay, so thank you. Okay, right. So next is physical design. We are go going to be having a brief view on that. So in physical design, okay, what we are going to do is converting of your synthesized netlist, okay, converting of your synthesized netlist to a physical layout, okay, to a physical layout. So let's start about physical converting. why I'm writing the same to physical information okay so how we are going to be converting okay that is what the major important criteria is so let's talk about stages in PD there is a subflow again for PD also there is a subflow that is first one is design data preparation or import design any name you can be able to tell okay data preparation or import design stage yes, sir. can you know cursor outside sir? no cursor oh, okay. okay clear now clear now yes, okay perfect so data preparation data or import design or import next design. is floor plan, floor plan. which I am hearing my echo. Sir, yeah. Sir, to enter in a VLS industry, what subjects we have to perfect, sir? That I will tell because I haven't touched that part. 
So when you want to enter into VLSI, the first, which one you want to enter, front end or back end? So you say for both, sir. If we take front end, which subject we have to be perfect? If we take in back end, which subject? See, when in front end itself, there are multiple stages here. I can be able to tell when you want to write an RTL code, you just need to know it's like uh, very log and uh, VHDL. Okay. okay, very log okay. VHDL system, very log that languages should be known along with it only with a particular task. We may not be able to survive. So we have to understand is like two to three in hand. So with respect to RTL coding, you, if you have an understanding of formal verification or functional verification also it will be an helpful task rtl coding very log system very log vhdl hdl like that languages first priority next one is like for uh, function formal verification or functional verification you require is like uh, uvm there is a sub concept of uvm which will be helping it you for that particular uh, verification purposes and next dft is like your jtag stuck at zero stuck at one the concepts are a little bit different if you have an understanding of that you will be able to get to know whereas lec it's you will be able to that is like no dependency it's just like you need to know a basics of your very low level understanding and a basic of your synthesis tool how it is performing and how the comparison is getting done okay this is a different league where it has a small small dependencies on different tools and the netlist comparisons how it is performing okay and next is backend uh, where you when you want to do as a fresher when you want to go as a fresher the first information you need to get to know an ideology about the cmos digital okay digital circuits and cmos circuits manufacturing how that particular manufacturing process is getting done this the MOSFET should fit also oh, mosfet also yes okay transistor uh MOSFET, CMOS, NMOS, PMOS, all this has to be known. Okay, but when you do this practically in industry, you might not require that. You only require that particular inside this particular sign off, there is a team called as physical verification. That team will be majorly using that particular CMOS circuit related and digital circuits. In this particular RTL coding, you will be requiring that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hi, Rudra. Good morning. Yeah. Sir, and what oh. about programming in Zotical and Perl? That is user, user dependent. Oh, um, backend. That is global. Okay. Is all basics concept will be covered in class, uh, classes, right? Uh, Perl basics, I don't think so. No, sir. Uh, uh, backend like uh, CMOS, digital MOS, transistor. Uh, that there will be classes for that. Okay. Hi, Rudra. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, Rudra, from front end, uh, I am fresher to this uh, field. I would like to learn uh, this front end concepts. So will it be easy for me? Any is like our brain. So everything yeah, yeah, is yeah, easy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. fresher is like though you are fresher, you will be able to focus and you will be able to get it. If you yes. want to do a front end or back end, everything will be able to support you that you will okay. be able to do that. Yeah. Because there are in when you go to advanced classes, you will be working on projects as well parallelly lab sessions. So okay. definitely you will be able to uh, get into industry standards. So here back and uh, I have worked with this PD and post silicon validation related things. 
but okay. i haven't touched i haven't touched this the above on this front end i haven't touched like very log or rtl coding and uh, these concepts i haven't uh, touched up mm-hmm. so i am coming from uh, computer science background so okay. that is the thing i am asking so i have knowledge related i have knowledge on python i have and okay. uh, these things i know to do but uh, this is the first uh, like vlsa design so as i am working from industry so uh, the, the thing is like uh, our manager needs to develop in these areas so uh, is that possible that is that is the thing i am asking yes you can yes you can you can definitely because presently as sorry if you are not good at coding physical design is okay for us yes if let's say like if you're not comfortable in a kind of a coding concept then i'll tell that uh, suggestion is like back end but i want it's also clean of coding that also has the coding only for your analysis you might want to write that okay okay now coming to your question right so you are already an experienced in uh, back end prospective that is your pd and post silicon validation yes my yes, question yes, yes. is you want to move to front end yes my uh, yeah question is like i need to move to front end but here uh, system very log and uh, system very verifi- uh, functional verification and uh, uvm is coming out so is that easy for us to learn because i am coming from as i said i am coming from computer science background i have experience only with a uh, post silicon validation and sometimes we do the pd related things not completely we do the pd only sometimes sometimes yeah. some uh, we interact with uh, those people and we just do the things that's it so okay. can, entirely we will be doing the post sil- silicon validation mm-hmm. and uh, system very log and uh, rtl and functional verification uh, this dft i haven't touched right now so that is the question DFT, i am asking you won't touch again so when you are talking about rtl coding or let's say like uh, functional verification concept you won't touch dft there dft yeah, yeah, again yeah, yeah. is like an another team okay yeah i got it dft pd and ams and uh, dv will come correct different concepts will be there so okay. when you want to move to front end yes you can be able to move any background you can be able to touch that particular very log coding if you are interested then yes yeah. you can be able to fastly move yes okay so you will be starting from the scratch only right from the beginning only right yeah now I, i may not be able to covering that particular front end because i started my career with respect to pd now i'm working as a synthesis and okay. uh, slowly touching this lec concepts okay and okay so there is also a term called as sta also okay that also will be covered in this pd prospective so the person who over is uh, taking this training uh, will be able to take from the scratch only right so yep, i'm asking correct. from the beginning of uh, system yep. very log they will take right so what is the yes. concept for the very log on the from the part of theory to coding only they will take right correct let's say like any subject which you are taking here will be with respect to a fresher level only okay then okay okay that is like yes. initial classes will be having your digital and uh, cmos that will be a okay. basic session and after okay. that particular basics will be your advanced sessions where okay. i have written this flow right which yes. flow you have picked up that will be in detail okay that is like uh, from basic scratch level to an advanced level you can be able to cope up okay so this is a complete part right like a front end one part and back end is one part correct so you don't have like in front end like there is a uh, so for in back end itself only pd is the concept you are going to learn means only pd they will teach that is not like correct. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. in, when it comes to PD, they have a concept of STA also. STA. Yeah, STA, and again uh, STA and uh, IR. This IR will be a basic. STA stands for. 
timing static timing analysis okay sir um, one more thing hmm. will they cover front end and back end or no. not no only one only one see when you want to learn a complete asic flow you the... might require is like 2 years okay don't take me wrong but it is like a totally different different fields when you want to touch this is one thing in that you will get confused yeah. what is the duration for design learning back end uh, i think so it's a minimum of 5 uh, months for any course yeah. if you take there is a minimum of 5 months so front end also the same thing right yeah correct sir uh, so i'll be attending in interview after 3 3 months mm -hmm. so i'll be attending in interview after 3 yes, months yes you can uh, let's say like there will be uh, when you go to advanced classes right i am telling from yeah. your advanced class uh, there will be a particular stage which you can ask your trainer they will suggest you they i have will cover our 70% syllabus also after the months we will cover 70% syllabus also yeah correct okay okay sir uh, which which, uh, which is better front end or back end i don't know actually okay uh, i'll come to that because i'll just cover <laughs> this up and after that we can be able to cover that again i'll come to that questions okay Okay, okay, thank you. All yeah, right. Uh, sorry for that. I'll just complete of this particular ASIC flow, and after that, I'll talk about the details of every questions you want to ask. Okay. Now, in this particular PD, you will be converting. Okay, that is like data preparation and floor plan placement, CTS routing, where you will be after this particular output. Okay, PD output will be a completely physical implemented design. okay that means with this particular physical implemented design you need to again cross check few things where i'll be telling it of sign off stage in this sign off stage again you will run the lec dft that means checks you are going to be performing and uh, physical verification where i'll pick here few terms i won't get in details of that when you go to advanced level we will be focusing on that sta and let's make it single term like ecos where you will be having functional eco and timing eco ecos means engineering change order uh sorry if anyone wants to request uh, um, videos right it's better that you ping uh, admin he will try to send you that okay right so next is like sign off ecos with multiple ecos on all this particular fixes you will manufacture that particular chip once that particular manufacturing is done you will try to verify that particular once again before giving it uh, in hand to the customer after the manufacturing you will be able to verify that and then only you will give it to the customer this is the complete asic flow okay clear any questions with respect to asic flow no sir will you continue sir mm, yeah the uh, now comes to the your technical questions or let's say like required concepts when you want to enter into a vlsa field i'll tell that what are the required concepts first is like whether you are going to front end or back end focus on first is like digital concepts digital circuits 
and analog this is most required where you will be having the complete uh, conversion related okay how you want to convert bin uh, binary to hexadecimal hexadecimal to so on and uh, converting of uh, circuits also okay that is required and next coming to analog the manufacturing level okay the manufacturing process not level the manufacturing process of a transistor cmos mosfet all this you have to know and uh, next is like uh, a basics of uh, current equations that was also a good concept if you know the ir related it will try to help you on that okay i think so for a basic level this is good enough and next if you have uh, scripting this is parallelly if you want to enter learn any of this language with a good one okay that is shell scripting perl or tickle shell scripting is different that should be known and perl let's make it here itself or tcl or python which is used for your own analysis you won't use it in you won't write any scripts in real industries but for your own analysis you can write this particular scripts and it adds an advantage in your resume also if you know any of this particular if you know all this and higher advantage in your resume a higher weightage okay and uh, anything else required obviously patience is okay. more required okay sir. yeah sir in digital uh, what subject what topics we have to be strong sir what topics is like uh, when they are telling you to write a code right the code when you are writing it it is majorly dependent on first is like digital let's say like the conversion logics and to or let's say like mux to and or any circuit if you want to convert okay how you want to convert that how you can be able to convert mux to and okay that concepts mux to building of an uh, a circuit with respect to a certain level of cells that you can be able to do it only when you know that particular digital concepts i won't tell this is the concept you have to know you majorly touch everything okay sir okay because i think so in the first month they will try to cover all this Mm, now coming to your non technical questions the duration will be around like uh, minimum of 3 to 5 months okay where you will be covering uh, your theory and practical parallelly okay theory and practical sessions will be done parallelly first one and uh, next one is like uh, weekdays and weekends i think so there will be a supporting mentors also for you for your lab sessions there will be a dedicated mentors for you along that particular duration okay you can raise the questions preferably when you want to ask any question ask it in the group such that everyone will be able to answer everyone will Sir, if we know the Velcroft subject, can we enter in VLSI industry, sir?
bro this is completely like online session okay anyways hello sir hello sir are you hearing me sir hello udra is this uh, completely the uh, online session right no rudra i cannot get your voice sir you are not audible rudra are you on mute Uh, am I audible? No, Rudra. Am I, am I audible now? Yes, Rudra. Yes, yes. I can hear your voice. So, Rudra, like uh, this is completely online session only, right? Sorry, this is completely about online session only, right? So, yeah. entire lab trainings and lab sessions, uh, everything I... will be online, only, right? So, if there is a majority of people who is opting in for offline, there is a chances they can be able to take it offline as well. okay but uh, i'm working so i'm doing my job and uh, is it possible like saturday and sun sundays also it is available yes so for so those who are working the saturdays and sundays will be having their uh, dedicated lab sessions yeah saturday and sunday okay. and majorly i forgot sunday. to tell them saturday and sunday will be your theory in the morning okay. half and uh, for those who are working professionals saturday and sunday lab sessions will be dedicated at the afternoon or evening sessions okay and remaining uh, they can opt in monday to friday monday to thursday friday will be off sir one more thing sir hello yeah sir i am pd in physical reason no so the linux topics also will cover the linux comments basic linux comments and how to yeah. uh, for everyone so it they, will be covered because why i am asking this before this uh, they have told the some uh, uh, this uh, syllabus uh, so in that uh, uh, only unix is there there is no any linux unix so or I'm linux doing. both are same no yeah um, both are same yes both are same so unix comments and linux comments both are same huh? yes both are same okay okay during your basic sessions uh they will be covering about your uh, digital analog basics of unix basics of optical this concept they will try to cover and after that during the basics itself according to the pd or front end the basics related to that particular concepts also will be covered that means like the basic terminologies which you require when you go to the advanced you might be able to cover in the basic itself okay so you need to relate to windows uh, windows only right windows is different unix is different Okay, Linux. Okay, sir, got it. Yeah. Okay, there are actually different types of OS: iOS, okay. Windows, Linux, okay. or Unix. Okay. okay. In okay. this particular Linux or Unix itself, you will be having again the vendors, different vendors: Red Hat, Geno. Uh, like that, you will be having different vendors. You will be using it. Okay, it is okay. relevant okay. with respect to Unix or Linux only major tools. Okay, but both uh, both uh, Unix and Linux are both same. What's yes. the difference actually? Can you define? The major difference is like the vendors is the major difference. They oh, are like okay. internal algorithms. Yes, there is no other change. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. The major difference is like the graphical user interfaces. when you go to the basic level you won't have much operation with respect to your mouse 
Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. When you go to the advanced level, you will be having that. Okay, sir. Got it. Thank you. Uh, so, for those who want to opt in for offline classes, uh, uh, request it with respect to the admin or uh, institute. Uh, okay. Uh, they will I would like, provide you. I would like to attend the classroom sessions only, sir. Okay. So you have to opt in. Uh, sorry, you have to request uh, or let's say like ask the admin. They will try to give you an answer for that. I am working for sure, and uh, I am working in charge only. So I am available only on Saturday Sundays. Kiri, I think so. Yes, you can be able to. Uh, yeah, offline you can be able to request them because few mentors might not be here because they are also. And now it's like work from home of uh, option for everyone. So that's why they are in their lockdown. So if there are any MFs available here, they will try to request for them to take it for you offline. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, Rudra, uh, the Amazon session they specify the 28 nanometer technology. Uh, so uh, currently, what uh, technology they are using in the industry? So will there be any gap uh, between this 28 nanometer and the current technology which they are using in the project? See, presently the technology which is running is like 3 nm. Okay. okay. Only few companies are using that. In okay. Fewer companies there are uh, using is also 7 nm, 14 nm mm-hmm. technologies. So okay. the flow is same. Whatever okay. the technology you are going to be using, the flow is same. The only difference is like the complexity of the working gets changed. Okay. The issues that is what changes. Other than that, everything will be same to same. Okay. So, same. what software do we use, like Candence or Xilinx? Uh, here we Other are going to that... be using is like Synopsis. Synopsis tools for PD. It is like you are going to be. Um, I don't have an idea about uh, front end tools what they are using. So for back end, I'm writing here. PD you are going to be using here is ICC 2, which is the advanced one. And next is like uh, for STA, you are going to be using prime time. Or it's termed as PT shell. And next is like uh, for uh, power, you are going to be using is a Red Hawk. And uh, for uh, what are the mentor graphics? Mentor graphics is not. We are not using it. Physical verification. We are going to be using is ICV. All the tools which we are going to be using is like uh, related to synopsis. Uh, front end prospective. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, for physical design, also we need scripting. Yeah, we require scripting. Means uh, nothing but uh, programming only. Or uh... programming is different. Uh, here, huh. when you are telling about scripting, is like a tickle. Hmm. Hmm. How to tell that? For your, uh, let's say, like here we are telling one stage by stage process, right? For that mm-hmm. particular stage, you have series of commands to be executed. That okay. series of command will be stored into a file, which you will be calling it as like a scripting. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there will be some mm-hmm. fixes. When you go to mm-hmm. advanced, uh, there will be term like some fixes. We will try to do that. So that okay. fixes when you want to do it every time. Again, there will be series of commands which you will dump it into a file and you will start do executing that. 
Okay, uh, we are almost like uh, work with the GUI only, right? In physical design, graphical Correct. user interface. Yeah. Mm, yes. Hmm. Okay. So initially, in the let's say like uh, data preparation, you don't require GUI. Placement, let's say like the initial steps of that particular uh, stages, you don't require GUI. After that, you will be requiring the GUI for analysis only. Because when you go to industry, that license is also very much required. Okay. Uh, Rudra, uh, this is Arvin. Hmm. Uh, almost all the companies they use Synopsys tools or some other uh, tools. Uh, based on the project uh, and uh, based on the cost cutting. Okay. Based so on the cost cutting, they will try to use the tool. Okay. If we are familiar with these synopsis tools, uh, if the company which we place in future, if they don't use these tools and if, if at all they're using some other tools, will it be like that? We should be. So, let's say, like, the concept is similar. Okay. When you are using synopsis tool or cadence tool, as I'm telling, okay. right, the flow is same. But okay. the execution of the commands is what gets different. Okay. Here, let's say like we are using get attribute. And when we okay. go to synopsis tool, they are going to be using db get. The command okay. only gets changed, but the flow okay. is same. We just need to okay. get familiarized with that. Also, we need to be prepared for the commands. That's all. Yeah, commands is your own. But presently, yeah. when you join, you may not yes. require it. So you, when okay. you go to a client also, you can tell that you are familiarized with synopsis. They can okay. be able to guide you on that cadence when you want to go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Hi, good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning. Go ahead, anyone. Yeah, actually, I'm asking as a, I'm a IT professional, so I have to I have to use I have to use to as the attend the class Saturday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. So am I able to do the classes if I get the chance on weekdays? Yes, okay. you can. Means yeah. Theory is like only and, on uh, Saturday. SS2, and Saturday. Yeah. Lab, you can do it okay. any day. Oh, okay. So, uh, getting to the uh, recording sessions, uh, am I able to get uh, the whole week? Uh, the recording sessions, I'm not sure. Uh, that you might uh, request uh, admin because I know that presently they are providing access to the recorded sessions all the time. But uh, confirm it with them. They are providing it on weekly basis or okay. uh, miss the sessions. Oh, okay. okay. Thank so, you. So, Rudra, whatever they're teaching at the Monday to Friday, so they will be going with uh, Saturdays and Sundays also, right? Like uh, we are working professionals. Correct. So, we will not be able to uh, come at the time like Monday to Thursday, Friday. So, will they teach by Friday, Saturday and Sunday entirely like? Uh, yes. So, like for example, you can tell uh, for a week there is five hours. So everyone is coming for one hour a day. So directly they will be taking Saturdays and Sundays for the working professionals, like yes. two and a half hours or three hours. Three, yes. three, five hours that will be covered up in the week. Correct. So is that possible? They do. Uh, see uh, what they are doing is like as I'm telling, right? Monday to Thursday, there will be. Uh, per week uh, lab mentor lab sessions also going on with a dedicated mentor they will mention you about their timings and all and again saturday and sunday will be the first half will be your theory that is compulsory and the second half will be your lab sessions for those who are not able to attend on monday to thursday there will be a dedicated sessions on uh, second half of the saturday and sunday okay uh, yes, yes, Rudra. Like most of the people, like they have asked for this offline class only. Maybe all are working professionals, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Either you can opt in. That is your uh, request, offline or online. 
it is based on again about the mentor if available they can be able to handle that otherwise again that will be a risky part okay okay that uh, the best answer will be provided by the institute side only rather than providing from me offline related uh, dudra can you uh, brief about the placements and the other uh, uh... Uh, so pl placement related uh, they are going to be providing you opportunity uh, after the course completion or let's say like they as i said right uh, from a particular stage as the, if there are requirements they will start posting it to you in the, in okay. the group cycle. and uh, in the time you get uh, placed they will be providing you an opportunity okay they will be oh, posting oh. it in that particular group as soon as there is a requirement uh, and you can start it will be service based companies or product based companies in physical design uh, based on or the openings for freshers presently you can go is like the best answer is service based when you go to a product based company or let's say like any field you go when you go to a product based company they have a perfect flow you won't learn much when you go to a service based company it's like a high competitive basis you will start learning new new concepts and you will start to gain more knowledge so that's why initially i suggest is like go to an uh, service based company and after that product based don't go to another service based company this and is my if you want to reach to the stage of architect level so mm -hmm. is this uh, profile of physical design in is is easier or is that front end verification uh, reaches uh, faster uh, after some years they take five years and physical design engineers take 15 years is that correct. true means uh, see it's not like uh, five years 10 years or 15 years so when you want to reach to an architect level the first and foremost concept is you have to get familiarized with respect to more concepts different fields and higher experience will reach you far faster to an architect level whether you take front end or back end the how much fast you are gaining that is what important is okay right any other questions Sir, daily how many hours will be the classes, sir? Can I know the exact? Three hours. Including the lab sessions, Including sir, the three lab hours. Ah, uh, lab sessions, any session is like three hours. Theory is like compulsory three hours. And sometimes it can get extended with, during the concept, based on the concept. And for lab sessions, again, it is like minimum three hours. If you have any questions, then based on that again, it can get extended. Okay. Sir, how many members will be in the each batch? That I don't know here. Batch count and everything is dependent on uh, you. Your, how many of you are in here itself? It's a combination, right? Different fields grouped up. To just a demo concept so pd there will be a different so like that don't worry if you're feeling uncomfortable you can reach to that particular institute anytime they will be providing you a solution okay if you feel that particular uh, training is not going good or labs uh, related you can reach to that particular admin he will be able to help you on that particular concepts every time Tool access. So good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, I'm in a teaching field. So okay. I just want to switch to the VLS industry. Perfect. So what are the teaching, opportunities? Uh, uh, you are experienced teaching in? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Ah, which field? In EC, EC only, electronics communication. Okay, then you have an high chances of getting placed. Okay because you are a kind of a background of uh, circuits related 
Uh, okay. So you can get uh, opportunities little bit faster. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I was okay. I was like uh, thinking to take the analog layout design course. So means is it different from physical design and uh, uh, that course is also available, right? Yeah, that course is also available. So where you are going to be covering is like when you're talking about analog the internal circuits of a cell you are going to be performing it the basics level. Okay, okay, so so that that is uh, completely different from physical design, right? Yes, a parallel of your physical design I can say. <laughs> Okay, and uh, regarding competency, both both courses have uh, like equivalent competency in the market. How how it is? Uh, competency presently analog has less, I guess, because I don't see because a VLSA it's like a fluctuating field. Okay. okay every time presently, let's say like uh, analog is good, and when it comes to the second level, analog will go down and PD will come up. So it's a fluctuating. <laughs> So while you are learning a course itself, I suggest is like uh, gain some friends through LinkedIn. Okay. Or through any, gain some friends such that they can be able to get you through industry. Uh, sure, uh, that is good. Alternative, right? Correct. Sir, nowadays AI and ML are dominating the every domain, sir. How can uh, how can this AI and ML will impact on VLSI if you check from uh, if we go around past 15 years? What will be the impact of VLSI? Uh, okay, past 15 years, future. I tell that there might not be a VLSI because already we are down to 3 nm, and beyond that 3 nm, you will be learning about the quantum physics that will be changing your industry a lot. Okay, don't worry, VLSI will be a long lasting till there is a long time to get the VLSA to be totally down. Okay, and now coming to the AI concepts, artificial intelligence, uh, there are different tools. The number of people which are getting occupancy will be might get reduced, but there is an always an opening for VLSA. Okay, the tools are getting developed in such a way that they are doing multiple tasks. Uh, okay, so the major requirement uh, might get down, but yes, there will be openings. I can tell that. Sir, in future, uh, will it show any impact on the VLSA industry? I'm asking this. Mm. VLSA industry, no. That's I'm telling, right? Only the impact yeah. will be okay. is like the number of people getting jobs might get changed. But that takes some time. Don't worry. Everything is growing. Everything will be changed. I can't. Uh, we are not predictors. Okay, and uh, this is a fresher level pro training, and Linux basics also will be covered during the theory. Sorry, during the basics training. Okay then. Is there any training by you, sir, on the training team? Sorry. Uh, in the training period, will you provide any material? material? Yeah, materials, everything will be provided. Okay. okay. Uh, can you tell any standard books for the physical design? Standard course? books till now, I haven't touched practically. Okay. Uh, actually, how it says that the uh floor planning routing mm -hmm. and so many concepts we have already told now correct uh, uh, hello main, main thing is the plan, power plant and placement and routing these are all concepts are available in some of the thing or the post gradation hello uh, Am is I my voice getting soon? break or is your voice getting break? I don't understand. 
ओके ओके सर एक्चुअली दीज आर द टॉपिक्स दैट मींस अ फोर प्लानिंग पावर प्लान प्लेसमेंट राउटिंग दीज आर ऑल कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर आल्सो वी हैव टू गेट फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट बुक्स सम ऑफ द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक लो पावर वीएलएसआई सीमास वीएलएसआई लाइक दैट इन दैट यस एज यू टेल एज लाइक इन दैट कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स दे विल बी सेम टू सेम but we will, we will be talking be as like with respect to an industry level and that will be like a purely theoretical level theoretical level okay we have to follow the theoretical level as well as the practical level then we can improve the more knowledge correct you can raise some questions you can get uh, more knowledge more knowledge okay and uh, actually i have age gap uh, i have so much age gap i completed my post graduation 2015 Okay. Uh, then how you can provide that uh, placement assurance to me after completion uh, of this so course? So like after 2015, what is your uh, experience in? Uh, in the teaching profession, I have six years experience. Okay, a teaching in which field? Electronics communication engineering. Okay, you were the okay. You were the one you said earlier, AC one. Ah uh, yes, sir. Some of the person is the G G O P is there. Ah, huh. so the answer is like okay. I cannot stop the recording right now here, but yes, there are different ways of getting you to an industry based on the level of uh, focus you put in. Ah, uh, there is a different. Okay. There is a difference. Ah, uh, okay, sir. I have asked one question. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, if I already ah uh, I got one uh, offer from of the some of the company startup company. okay some of the company uh, okay. in that uh, they will provide uh, training at 6 months of training with uh, some amount of t- stipend correct uh, and then they will provide to the tri- client. that means uh, the uh, client or if 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 i success they will give that uh, client they will yes. provide client and mm-hmm. they on the time i they will give the 25000 and so much amount of uh, salary okay okay uh, for example if i do if i taking in your institution with the mm-hmm. same uh, cost that means i have to pro- you have you, i will i will give the 53000 amount to, then what is the difference uh, for for startup company and you sir see here, the difference in that uh, you have said is like two different names here itself what is the difference between a company and an institute uh, yes sir No, I'm asking you. What is the difference between company and an institute? Uh, actually, the company institute means they will give that knowledge only. Huh. And also they and will provide that uh, placement assurance where when when we get the uh, job. Correct. And the company. But company. You already get a job, and there you are yeah. getting a training. They they will give they training. they are train up. Correct. there is two difference okay. right okay sir you only have the answer ah uh, yes sir i uh, i have a better path uh, that one is the good one or uh, institution is the good one i have to uh, have that see uh, okay. when you get an institute is like extra gaining of knowledges okay whereas company is like extra income extra income okay this is the major you will get income when you join a company when you join an institute you will gain a knowledge this is the difference okay. so rudra uh, uh, rudra this is normal so i have yes, plan of moving from bangalore to hyderabad so will i be able to attend my sessions yes you can online okay okay online and presently i'm i'm not giving an assurance of offline will be there or not but if you ask more number of people are there they might request that particular mentors or trainers to take that particular sessions offline okay okay and based on the current situations it gets changed now the thing is like i will be moving to hyderabad mm-hmm. soon so after paying amounts and all so will i be able to attend the online session yeah. entirely like entire course i should attend online and yes, even the placement also yes you can yes thank you
Hello. Yes. Sir. Yes. So, uh, are you going to provide me a recorded lecture? A uh, recorded lecture, you can uh, ask the the admin. Okay. Because uh, presently I don't have an access to provide that. They will, if you request to him, they can be able to provide you that particular recorded sessions and uh, all the guidelines. Okay. And when exactly the class is going to start? I said right guidelines. That guidelines is you can be able to ask it with them. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Rudra, uh, so you will be uh, the trainer for the uh, physical design uh, classes or uh, some other trainer will participate? Um, presently, it's not yet decided. Uh, once it is decided, okay. we can be able to give you an answer for that. Fine. Okay. Okay, because you are still in a basics point of view. Once still there is one month of time, anything can happen, right? So that's why there is no assurance okay. right now. Uh, hello, Vishal. Ah, uh, hi, sir. This is Vaibhav. Uh, yeah, Vaibhav. Yeah, I would like to answer a few of the questions. Like someone yeah. had asked about the recorded videos. Uh, see, uh, definitely we will be providing you the recorded videos. Like once the session is done, the recorded video will be shared to you and it will be for one week. So within that one week, you can go through the video and you can revise. And now coming about the trainer, uh, about the trainer during the complete training so the training is divided into two parts like basics and mains so for the basics as well as mains we are having callcom trainers so they will be guiding you through from the scratch for digital even for uh, the base cmos pd basics as well as the projects yeah uh, that's all so we shall please go ahead uh, yeah i am done from my side so if anyone asks any questions with respect to admin side, uh, you can be able to raise it uh, right now. He might be able to answer that or else we can be able to close the session. Is there any yeah. chances for off classes? Sorry? Is there any chances for offline classes? Offline classes, see, uh, now what happens is uh, some <clears throat> The weekend curfew has also been lift up. So if the things becomes normal, we will be starting with offline also. Currently also we are doing almost 70% of the offline, but only the theory sessions that we are having are online. So currently also we are having 70% offline, but complete 100% offline will take at least one or two months. Can I able to attend all complete course online? Yes, you will be definitely able to attend online. Because online and offline training is uh, doing in parallel as well as uh, even for the offline students as well as online students. The tool access is provided by a server. So from your remote location also you can log into the server and you can use the tool. Excuse okay, me, thanks. sir. Yes. Sir, I have already enrolled for physical design mains training. It was uh, to start from 22nd, I think. So, sir, uh -huh. still demo sessions going on. So, sir, when will uh, the training will start? Main training. I've already paid my first installment also. Right, right, right. See, the basics and mains are starting in parallel. So, like from tomorrow, the uh, main training will be starting. I guess you, you might have got some e-learning access. So, uh, you will be requested to go through the videos. Okay, and from. Sir, you are not supported. Hello. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Sorry, about, uh, I need to drop off. If anyone wants to ask a question from my side, uh, or is everyone is clear? Sir, very log basics will also tell in demo session. Okay, that I think so. It's admin. Sorry. Uh, can you please repeat? Verilog, Verilog basics will also tell you sessions. Uh, see, Verilog, uh, Verilog system, Verilog and UVM is a part of front end. So Verilog basics will be covered if you enroll for the front end course. Here, for uh, physical design, the basics are required like CMOS fundamental, TCL scripting. Those are the basics that are required. Uh, before that, uh, Vishal? Yeah, Viper. Uh, yeah, uh, so you want to leave, right? Yeah. So anyone having any technical queries?
there are uh, hands on experience on innova tool uh, here you don't have an hands on experience on innova tool presently you will be getting an hands on on synopsis tools okay okay any other questions technically so we shall what we can do is uh, while leaving the meeting just uh, leave for uh, only you because sometimes what happens yeah. it's meeting gets in yeah okay thanks guys thanks everyone bye thank you sir, <laughs> sir you thanks, were telling thanks. about uh, the main training that is to be started sorry you were telling about the main training that is to be started like uh, that time you got mute right right, right. from monday it will be starting okay so, so it, it's a weekly training uh, weekly, uh, sorry weekly training also and uh, training also okay so, so sir i'm planning to take the front end part so that will be starting from uh, scratch only right this yes, uh, yes. very long Right. So now what we are doing is from Monday uh, for base those who have enrolled for basics plus mains uh, for basics also we are starting from digital and for front end also we are starting from digital. So even if you enroll for physical design you or for front end everything will be starting from scratch and it is starting from tomorrow. From tomorrow. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, if I want to enroll myself, so like whom I have to contact. I will be the contact person. I will be sharing my uh, contact number over here. Okay. Yeah. So I had hello everyone. I had shared this my contact number. Uh, my name is Vaibo. I am the manager over here. So you can directly contact me regarding your queries, like whatever the queries, like placements and all. We I will be able to assist you. Sir, how much time uh, taking class uh, time timing please? Sir? Per day it will be three to four hours. And timing timing. Oh, uh, nine to one hour. Nine to one. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm from Chennai actually. Uh, since you said both the uh, uh, online and offline uh, goes parallel. So, will I be able to uh, have both online and uh, if you have the uh, feasibility to come to the direct classes offline would be uh, accessible, both accessible. And now see what I have, uh, I will just give an example. Like suppose if I am conducting this okay. demonstration offline and online also, the, what is the difference between both of them is? Candidate sitting in front of me will be seeing my screen through projector. And mm -hmm. now the way you are attending online, the others will be seeing my screen uh, through the uh, screen sharing. And this is the only mm -hmm. While uh, doing the sessions, like as I said, 70% offline is there. So mm -hmm. after one or two months, I start with the full-fledged offline training. Offline or online will be also there. Okay, but anyone wants to switch to from online to offline, they can directly switch. No issue. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, my plan is uh, so sir my plan is like uh, taking from uh, Saturdays and Sundays the courses because uh, we are professional so we'll not be able to take from Monday to Friday. Uh, sure, no issues. You can take the uh, course on weekends. Also, in suppose by any any chance on weekends, if you miss, still the videos will be provided to you. Okay. Yeah. So there will be mentor to guide us, right? Sir, for uh, yeah. like suppose on Saturday, Sunday you are attending. Now you got the link through WhatsApp, or you might have got through mail. So you have to join okay. the session, session, and the mentor will be there, or the trainer will be there to guide you. Even in lab sessions, what we do is we are doing the assignments. Okay, almost we are kind of covering all the questions and doubts of the assignments. So there will be a dedicated mentor or the trainer to assist you. Okay. So I'm asking this uh, Saturdays and Sundays also they will be having uh, they will be uh, there only to train us right they'll be starting yeah. from the scratch yes on Saturdays or uh, they Sunday. will provide uh, they will provide the videos and they will ask us to see no see on Saturdays and Sundays also what happens is there are dedicated lab videos uh, lab sessions are there okay okay so and attend the lab sessions coming to some theoretical concepts like digital and all digital and CMOS there the videos will be shared to you. Okay. 
but now while going through the videos if you come across any doubts or something there will be a dedicated mentor to assist you okay Any more queries? Sir, in uh, e-learning is showing uh, some limited time. Okay. Uh, that uh, how we can extend that time also. Sorry? Uh, sir, uh, that is three three lakhs or uh, three thousand seconds is there, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, that uh, limit we, we can increase or not. See, how what can I say? Uh, they go, uh, whatever the limit we provide you by default, we uh -huh. limit is such as which is for suppose for course completion if it is 30 hours like there are 10 videos and there are uh, sir. three three hours each video so the total hour will be 30 right mm -hmm. so instead of providing 30 we provide you almost 50 to 60 hours mm -hmm. okay if you convert that 50 to 60 hours into seconds a specific count will come and we are not restricted that you have to complete in that only but what we accept is since after providing 60 to 70 percent additional time you should complete at least 70 to 80 percent of the course once you complete 70 to 80 percent and you are left with only two to three videos we extend the time again okay okay sir suppose uh, i can see video uh, i cannot understood uh, again i will see video that time also it is count uh, time if you are seeing video, video like suppose you are saying three hours video okay yes, sir. now particular there will be like around a particular topic you didn't understood so okay. you can directly point it to that uh, that topic and you can watch it again because you won't be watching a three hours video multi three to four times right you will be watching yes, it sir. for a particular time slot so if you go mm. by this way whatever the time duration is provided it will be sufficient for you to complete the course okay okay Yeah. So, uh, any more queries? Sir, when the new batch will start? No, today was the demo session. From tomorrow itself, we are starting a new batch. Tomorrow, there will be orientation class for the end-all candidates. And we will be giving the overview and everything tomorrow. Just please be on hold. Hello. Hello, am I audible to everyone? Yes, 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 yes sir. sir. Yeah, so repeat your question. Hello. Okay. So, uh, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. So, if I'm having queries. So, from tomorrow, analog layout course is also uh, getting started, or it is only for physical design? Uh, this demo was only specific with respect to uh, physical design. There will be another uh, demonstration for uh, analog layout. Okay but the schedule of analog layout is not yet decided we will be uh, giving you the uh, schedule of the analog layout okay, okay sure interested. sir yeah yeah, yeah. Sir. anyone who is interested in analog layout just ping me on whatsapp okay yeah. okay sir uh, when is the next batch starting uh, physical design uh, this batch is starting from tomorrow but after okay. every six, six to seven weeks, we start the batch. Okay, six to seven weeks. Okay. So, oh. yeah. um, so we yeah. can expect uh, uh, March, right? Yes, in the first okay. week of March. Most okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So everyone, uh, like if I'm not wrong, everyone of you or majority of you, I mean, I won't say everyone of you, but most of you will be the objective of joining the course is to get into the industry, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See what happens is uh, I'm the placement coordinators. I look into the placements majorly. Now 
you many of you might have different different criteria like someone are doing in uh, mtech final year btech final year or someone has completed the course uh, freshers or someone has uh, having some educational gaps working in non it domain uh, non vls domain might be in it or a teaching now what happened is you might be also doing some uh, rnd over internet or through phones what i want to convey you is you you are also knowing that there is a very huge openings going on okay in such context what we are having is we are having the list of com multiple companies approaching us you know on a regular basis for trained candidates what is required from you is your background will be considered but the primarily the focus will be given in your training if you are trained candidate we will be forwarding your cvs to the industry whatever they are asked uh, whichever the companies are coming we will be forwarding your cv to them you have to clear the interview and you will be if you clear the interview you will be get selected now for crack see whatever training i am providing it will be sufficient for you to get placed apart from that when you go for the interview there are almost four rounds of interview which includes starting will be written test then there will be a chart discussion then there will be a technical discussion and fourth will be salary discussion if you get selected for salary discussion it means you are done but now how my training is associated with all these four rounds see during the training i will be clearing from the basics till the advanced concepts with the hands on on to the tool and like the in physical design there are five to six modules like digital cmos pd basics tcl and then pd advanced including the project after completion of each and every module i will be conducting evaluation test and we keep a criteria that students should score at least 60 percent now my evaluation test or the question paper for the evaluation test are designed by the industry trainers itself if you are scoring in the evaluation test then there is a surety that you will clear the written test in the industry also okay once you you are well prepared and you are clearing all your written tests or evaluation test that we are conducting then we forward your profile to the industry when you for when we forward your profile to the industry we know that it takes almost three to four days by the company to schedule the interview during the time span of three to four days we conduct mock interviews and those mock interviews itself are conducted by the industry trainers when the industry trainers conduct mock interview they give you a clear picture of what are the types of scenarios will be asked in your technical discussion what are the project project oriented questions will be asked so mock interviews and evaluation test increases 99 percent of your chances to get placed this is the protocol of our placement and by following this protocol last week i had placed around 40 plus candidates in lnd as well as around 30 candidates in perfect vip we have even samson we have placed around 11 candidates what we are expecting from you is if you are joining this institute you should be very thorough with your practicing yeah so that's what i wanted to convey you regarding the placement any queries that you want to ask So do we do you have like placements in uh, in uh, Pune region or it is mostly around like uh, Bangalore or uh, means opportunities are there for Pune or uh, Noida means Delhi? Yes, there are opportunities for Pune and Noida. Even we have placed our candidates in Pune where we have placed candidates in AMD, Nvidia. Even Perfect VIP is also having it is in uh, Pune. The only thing is, if you compare the number of uh, companies in Bangalore and number of companies in Pune, then there is a huge difference. But yes, since we provide quality trained engineers, companies from Pune also ask us for the trained candidates. Even same is applicable for Noida. In Noida, what we have is uh, our candidates who have done the training from us has got placed into Cadence, Ignisus. Okay, apart from that, see, uh, as I was saying, candidates, uh, regarding the placements, see what happens is since there are very huge openings, there are many candidates who has got placed during the training also. What I mean by during the training, when you complete 75 to 80 percent of your training, we start providing you the opportunities. My last batch out of 15 students, almost nine students had got placed in the fifth month itself. 
because their performance was good into the evaluation tests. Okay, sir. And what is the sir, when do you uh, people are getting uh, into this? I Means as a fresher or as a like three to four years of experience, but into different domain. Sorry. I mean, what is the expected CTC that people are getting uh, as a fresher? You see, what happens is if you are a fresher and if you are entering into the service-based company, you can expect in between 3.5 to uh, 4.5 in a service-based company. If you are going product-based company, it will be above 6. Okay, sir. Fine. Yeah, because you are asking something. Sir, you said that something test will be conducted by your institution, sir. When it will be con conducted? After completion of every module, like suppose I'm, I have digital uh, digital design module. It will be completed after 15 days. Once the 15 days uh, module is completed, after one or two days, there will be a test. And not only test, uh, see now the session was going on, your session was going on. Randomly, I entered. Okay. So what we do is when the session is conducted or something, I personally look into that how the training is going on and we randomly conduct some interviews so that you will get an idea about how what are the questions in the interviews asked because if in the fifth month if you apply then the next step of application is telephonic round and they will not say that uh, okay I will be calling you on this, this time they will be directly calling you between nine to six whatever the official hours are okay so what i want to convey is we will be preparing you from the all aspects whether it's a technical or a non-technical to clear the interview one more point i would like to add is suppose if anyone of you had applied to the companies from any job portals like nokri.com and all so they will be mostly taking aptitude reasoning right and number of rounds they take yes sir yeah here what happens is when they came to the training institute the 80 percent their focus is on since they know the candidate is on uh, is well trained they just want to know that what projects is worked on what are the hurdles he faced and with respect to whatever training i'm giving 80 percent of the interview will be focused on that since when the candidate applies from any uh, open source portal then what happens is the company doesn't know anything about the candidate so they try to check from all aspects whether it's aptitude reasoning or whatever it is right yeah so that's all from my end any queries yes, sir. sir is there any percentage criteria of companies are looking for freshers uh, right see what happens is company approaches us with the criteria like um, 65 percent 70 percent just to give one example just to give one example uh, hcls came us with the criteria of uh, 70 percent 70 percent aggregate in the engineering and uh, freshers okay so what we do is we directly convey to the company that if you have if you require a trained well-trained candidates who can work on projects and all i have well-trained candidates but if you put a, such a high criteria like 70 percent and all then uh, almost there are candidates who doesn't satisfy the criteria but they are well trained so in that context what they do is they ask us to send the profiles okay then they will take initial one or two round and they will decide but for me to comment that suppose any one of you like uh, like suppose Karthik, Karthik is well trained, but he is not fitting in the criteria. I can recommend him that even if this candidate is not satisfying the criteria, still he is uh, he is well trained. So when I recommend the company consider the profiles, but what is required for me to recommend? It is your performance. Yes, sir. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Sir, yeah, please tell me. Sir, I have completed my B at uh, 2021. So mm -hmm. there are almost uh, five to six month gap. So it will be affect uh, in during placement. I see you are having five to six months a gap. 
the if you go through my google reviews even 2014 candidates 2012 candidates has also got placed okay just uh, please uh, be on hold for two minutes Uh, yeah, hello everyone. Just give me two minutes. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, I'm audi audible to everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, so my issue asked about the five to six months gap. See, we had uh, done the placements of 2014 candidates, even 2017 candidates. Okay, they were in some uh, IT domain or even some in teaching domain. Okay, so no need of to worry about if you are around 2015 onwards pass out you are. Okay. We will be supporting you with the placements and whatever possible aspects are there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sure. Any more questions? Please be open to the questions because uh, if you are planning to enroll, you should be have a very clear picture of uh, whatever doubts you have. It will be the online session class and will be started. Sorry? When will be the online training batches started? It will be starting from tomorrow. For weekend. For weekend, see what we provide is it. Uh, for weekend, it will be on Saturday. See, now on weekends, there are lab sessions. Now, since we are starting with the digital, for digital, what we'll do is uh, we will be conducting the session between Monday to uh, Friday as well. And that digital videos will be shared to you. But if you have any doubts or something, a dedicated mentor will be assigned to you, which where you can clear with us. Oh, weekend batch is not going to be started yet. Week for weekend students, the recorded videos will be provided because suppose you're going through the digital, because digital is a mandatory part in physical design. Okay, so the module of digital in physical design is starting from tomorrow. Sir, I'm looking for the physical design course. Sir, how the classes will be taken, whether it will be the online or offline? It will be both online and offline. As I said, like both, are both batches are separate, sir? Sorry, no, both batches are not are separate. Okay. Like, suppose this is not a demo session, it's a regular session. Then candidates interested to do off offline training will be sitting in front of me and will be uh, seeing this screen via projector. Okay. And the okay. candidates attending online will be just click on link and they will attend the way you are attending now. Okay, um, the students who are attending the sessions on online, they can see like uh, in classroom, it, the environment will be like in the classroom. No, see, no, see, no just to give an example, like. 
sir as most of the online classes are conducted in this uh, webex uh, zoom meeting how it will how these classes online and classes are conducted i want to know that yes yeah, i will be there at the meeting just one give me one minute yeah are you able to see my screen yes sir yes sir yes sir so what we do is like suppose if i am taking the session then in the first hour first itself i will be specifying the agenda what is the agenda suppose i will be the agenda of digital what we are going to cover is basic gates and then combinational okay now this is what we agenda we declare during the, this one we will write few more topics over here okay and then one by one one by one we, i will start now what is this this is my session notes of today's session which i will be sharing to you via e learning portal okay and now itself what happens is the way i am taking the session in the background it is getting recorded so after the session is done this session recording will be shared to you for weekend students like now the live batch is going on at live this live training video itself is provided to you and you will be if you were coming across doubt there will be a dedicated mentor to clear your doubt so this is how the online students will be attending now everyone is seeing my screen through the app called go to meeting but the students were coming offline they will be seeing the my screen via projector okay so it's a parallel online and offline so offline students uh, any teacher will be there sir, for teaching or in the on sorry in the on offline sessions any teacher will be there sir in physically are they that's present what, sir that's what i am telling when i am doing uh, online offline both okay when i say 70% on uh, offline so the topics i will be covering like tcl and everything the trainer will be here in the institute only for the 30% of the theory the trainer the student has to mandatorily attend it from online sir offline students also get the video access sir one second uh, yeah arvin please go ahead sir offline student also get the video access to this sir yes everyone will be getting the video access everyone will be getting the tool access as well okay yeah sir, as i am from hyderabad sir i can't I able to attend offline classes sir i only right. attend online see the training is online and offline both offline it just if the candidate is uh, want to come to offline but even the can training is offline it will be online also okay because see uh, as every one of you might be knowing that the major hub of vlsi is us so in every batch we have three to four candidates from us who wants to attend complete training online so it's our responsibility for you to provide the complete training online if you are attending online also in a smooth manner we are providing the tool access the session videos everything but the only mandatory requirement from your end is if you are attending online you should have a stable internet connection yeah please tell me any more doubts uh just just some uh, if you want to use the tool any part of uh, the week is that fine if you are joining for weekend course and if i want to use uh, access of tool is you will provide opportunity or how is that even if your weekend or uh, full week course or even e learning the tool access is 24 by 7 oh great yeah for the course duration Uh, when is the DFT or SV UVM course would be starting? The SV UVM course has already started from yesterday. 
Oh, uh, what about uh, DFT? Uh, DFT also. See, for DFT basics, uh, see, for front-end DFT basics, even for PD, the digital design is mandatory. Okay. Okay. So for front-end, that is DFT and even uh, front-end functional verification, we have conducted some very long basic sessions that uh, has started from yesterday. Okay. But now onwards, the digital will start. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we can uh, start for uh, uh, registering and you can continue uh, right 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 so for the front end as well as for back end uh, today and tomorrow the enrollments are open because from uh, tomorrow itself the batch is starting uh, you will get the access directly and we can use the tool any point of time you see what happens after, after registration you will be getting the uh, module of digital design okay it will be for uh, 15 days and the sessions will be for 15 uh, digital will continue after that cmos will be done and then tcl will start the moment tcl starts everyone will require tool because every, uh, all of you might know for digital we don't require any tool even for cmos we don't require any tool once the cmos is done uh, tcl will come into picture for tcl icc22 tool is used so we will be giving you as per the model progresses, whatever like for going synthesis and STA prime time is required. So we'll be giving you access to that. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yes, please tell me. Uh, like I just had an emergency and I could not attend the class in the 9.30 uh, time. So even yeah. the Saturday's classes are getting recorded and Saturday Sunday's classes are record, getting recorded and we can watch it again in the some other time. Right. See, even this demo session is also getting recorded. Any one of you, uh, not even any one of you, all of you will be getting the access to this uh, recorded demo video either by today end of the day or max to max by tomorrow, either via WhatsApp or via mail. Okay, and uh, I just I, I am something uh, want a, like a physical notes or something. I am adjusted to the physical notes. Like uh, I heard, I can get an access for the uh, notes for something around six years. I mean, in your uh, VLSI guru. But uh, can you get a physical note so that I can uh, like take a printout of it and go through and study it? Uh, something like that. Notes. Uh, no, uh, see, there are two two things. First of all, it's not for six uh, six years or something. What we do is the notes, course materials. Uh, first, uh, those who enroll for online, they are getting the videos. Okay, each video is off for uh, seven days, like one week. Okay, and after that, the notes are the material that I'm uploading onto the e-learning portal. It will be for complete one year. Okay. Uh -huh. So we'll be having the access to know. now coming to physical note as of now we are not giving any offline but since you are uh, you want to take a print out right yes sir. Uh -huh. uh, what you can do is uh, you just uh, I have since I have shared my number uh, you can uh -huh. approach this I can connect you with the team and then okay. uh, Okay, so, okay. Like I just had a doubt. Like I, I want really like uh, need a physical notes. Like I need to go through it. In, like I am just in reading something with the physical one. So I just yeah. asked. No. Just, okay. Yeah. So I can get the notes, right? Like uh, I can read it. Uh, like taking a print out of it and everything like that. That's what I am saying. Uh, you you can contact on the number that I had shared. I will follow okay, you. Okay. The, the some sections is different. Okay. Okay. So, okay. okay. Thank you. Sure. Any more queries? Okay. So by this, I would like to end this session. Uh, I am sharing this my number again. If anyone has rejoined, okay. Okay. So uh, you can reach out to me on this number for any queries regarding the training placements or even the structure whatever your queries is you just ping me on this number you can call me if i'm not answerable then you just drop a whatsapp message okay so that's all from my end uh, thank you very much for your time yeah thank you thank you thank you so much